if you are planning to raise funds for your startup if you are approaching the investor then this video is for you hello guys my name is yogesh tite and i am the founder of entai today we will be talking about how to identify how to study and how to select the right investor for your startup we have already discussed this thing in last video as well but today we will be talking about how to identify select the right investor in detail you need to categorize your startup first what is the stage of your startup ideation mvp early revenue growth scale up what is the domain you are working in healthcare financial technology food technology agriculture technology what is the investment ask what is the sales you guys are generating from which geography your startup is working so all this five six point you need to categorize yourself now you need to categorize the investor what is the ticket size what is the domain they invest in what is the geography they invest in what is the stage they invest in and now you need to shortlist the investor there are cases wherein some people are only investing into uk some people are only investing into europe or us there are some people who are looking in india only there are some people who are focusing on healthcare or food technology there are people who are investing into early stage of the startup there are vc who are investing into growth or scale up stage so you need to understand all these things before shortlisting the investor so the next question might be from where you can get all this information which investor or which vc is investing in what domain what stage once you list out all the active investors and all the active vcs you can visit their website you can read out their portfolio you can read out their thesis so this might need you might need to invest some time studying all these investor but all the information is widely available on their linkedin their twitter and their website if at all you are confused about something you can see their startup portfolio and you can understand which kind of startup they are investing at what stage they have invested what kind of founders they have backed so you could get lot of information whether this vc or investor is good for you or not when i am saying good or right that means do you guys really match with each other reaching out to the random or let's say a wrong investor only waste your time and you are going to get the reply we don't invest into this particular stage or domain so that is why most of the people are getting rejections because they don't study the investor background their thesis their criteria and they randomly shoot the email or they randomly ask on a linkedin or twitter we have got the proposal for you and that is the main reason why they don't get the meeting so if you want to get the meetings let's say out of 10 you need at least 5 to 6 meeting you have to shortlist the investor by categorizing you need to place a contact you cannot directly say that okay i have got the proposal for you would you invest in our startup first you need to place a contact you need to identify the common interest on what topic investor is writing on twitter or linkedin or any any platform okay you can ask the question you can comment you can post something in similar line you can grab the attention of that investor so they would come to know okay there is xyz person who is running abc startup once you are confident that this particular in investor knows you you can now ask i have got a good proposal for you i studied all your background your investment thesis your criteria of investing and i think we have got the proposal for you i can share the pitch and then we can discuss this is one of the good way wherein you can get maximum meetings when you are reaching out to the investor and they would also appreciate that you have studied all the things and once you get the call for meeting there would be a round of discussion introductory round detailed round uh, valuation round negotiation round uh, due diligence round so everything there would be a four to five discussion in person through zoom or through skype from getting meeting to the due diligence it is your job your job as a founder how you can present your thing how you can sell your startup how you can convince the investor that they have got the great opportunity how you can convince that okay you have got a great market potential how you can convince that this would be a future it depends on you once you are able to convince with all this round of discussions then there would be a thing of term sheet 
This is how you can categorize, shortlist and approach the right investor. I hope you like this video. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you again. Thank you.